If you use any of the professional animation apps today, you will need to draw frame by frame to animate it. This is an extremely time consuming process and it can be very difficult for a beginner who is new to the world of animation. In addition to that, for using such apps, you often need a fancy tablet or an iPad or at least a computer with touch screen to comfortably work with. For a beginner, these might not be affordable. So that's why in this video, I'll teach you how to create a professional quality animated video with just using your iPhone. Yes, you heard me right. You don't need anything more than an iPhone. This tutorial is for beginners who want to make animation videos for the first time. Are you ready? Let's begin. Step 1. Creating the animation character. Go to the app store on your phone and search for an app called Animaker. Once you locate it, click install. Once you sign up, you will be taken to the home page. I already have an account, so I am just logging in. At the bottom of the app, you can see four different sections. First is the home page. The second section is my projects section, where you can find all the previously created video projects. Third one is my export section, where you can find all the exported videos that are ready for download. Last section is the upgrade section, using which you can upgrade your account into a premium plan. The plus icon in the middle lets you create a new video project. Let's start with creating a custom animation character for our video. Go to the home page section and click on create your own character option. Right now you have the option to create adult male and female characters. There are many types of characters in the character builder but since it says that the options to create kids character and plus size characters are coming soon, let's try to build an adult male character now. If you still want to check out these characters, you can try them out in the web version of Animaker. For this video, I am creating an adult male character. Further, we can see a list of character templates. Let's select a basic template and customize it further. Let's start by changing his skin color. We can also change his hairstyle. Change his facial structure, add moustache and beard, pick different eye shapes, eyebrows, nose, lips, attires. and variables. Using all these combinations, you can create billions of unique characters. Now click on the save option and save the character after giving it a name. Now in this pop-up, click on go to dashboard you will see that the newly created character is visible on the home page. Step 2. Creating a video project Once you click on the character, you will see the options to create a new video project. You can also create a horizontal, vertical or a square video. Now let's create a horizontal video project. You will see a new project with your newly created character present in the center. You can also resize the character by dragging on the corner. The interface of the app is divided into two equal parts. The top part is the workspace where you can preview and align the objects in the video. The bottom part is the timeline where you can edit and customize the objects added to the video. Video is divided into smaller parts called scenes. By default, each scene is a clip of 10 seconds duration. We can always increase and decrease the duration of the scene by dragging its edge. You can add a new scene by clicking on this plus icon over the timeline. On the timeline, you can see a pink colored track. It represents the character in the video. We can control the visibility of the character by dragging the edges of it. Let me drag it to the fifth second. If we preview the scene, we can understand how it works. Right now, the character is visible. But it disappears after the fifth second. As we add more objects like images, backgrounds and audio, 
we will have more tracks on the timeline. And in the same way, you can control the duration of those elements using the tracks. Step 3. Animating the character. With the character selected, at the bottom of the timeline, we can see the different options to edit the character. Scroll right to see all the options. Right now, the character is standing still. I want the character to do different action. To change the character action, click on the option named Action. It has all the actions that can be applied to the character. Standing, talking, crying, thinking, jumping, presenting. You have 100 plus different actions here. Let me select the waving action. Just like that, you can animate a character in one click. Step 4. Adding backgrounds. To add any new object to the scene, we have to use the plus icon present on the timeline. We can select a template, characters, backgrounds, add text, music, effects, properties, images, videos, stickers, GIFs and even generate QR codes for your videos. Let's open the backgrounds. You can find hundreds of 2D backgrounds here. At the top, we can find the different categories. Once you select a background, it will be applied to the video. Step 5. Adding voiceovers. Click on the plus icon. Now further select the music section. We have two different options to add the voiceover. First option is to directly record and add your voice. Using the second option, we can upload audio files. We are going to use the second option for this video. Click on Upload option to upload the voiceover. You can find the uploaded voiceover track on the timeline. Let's preview the scene. Hello there, welcome to the channel. You are learning how to make animated videos using your iPhone. Step 6. Adding text. To add text, we have to click on the plus icon and further open the text section. Now select one of the text boxes at the top to add it to the video. Let's change the text using the edit text option at the bottom. We can further customize the font style. Size. Change the font color. Add an effect and so on. Let me adjust the position of the character and the text. Let's see how we can add animation effects to the elements added to the video. I am going to add an animation effect to the text. First, select the text. Further, if you scroll right on the bottom of the settings tab, you can see an option called effects. Further, you can see two more options to add animation effects. Enter effect is for adding animation effects when the text appears and the exit effect is for adding animations before it disappears. Let's add an enter effect animation. Now you can control the duration of the animation effect using the slider over here. Let's preview. Hello there, welcome to the channel. You are learning how to make animated videos using your iPhone. Step 7. Adding multiple actions. Right now we can see that the character is waving towards us. But what if we want the character to do more than that? For instance, I want the character to walk into the scene, wave at the viewers and then point towards the text. Which means the character has to perform three different actions to make it look like a complete animation. It is very easy to make such complex animations using Animaker. Let me show you how to do that. So the first action I want is the walking action. So let me go to the actions tab and select that. I want the character to walk into the video. So this action has to be placed outside the frame of the video. Now to add more actions to the same character, we have to use an option called Action Plus. Click on the plus icon and add more actions as you wish. The second action that we want is the waving action. I want the character to reach the center of the workspace and do the waving action. So I am keeping it here. The character will walk along this dotted line and once it reaches this place, it will wave. 
Similarly, let me add the third action. Now over here, we can see three markers. They represent each of the actions that we added. By moving them, we can adjust the duration at which each of the actions will happen. I want to give three seconds for the character to walk into the scene before it does the waving action. And it should wave for a second before it performs the third action. So I am moving the markers accordingly. In the timeline, we can see that the scene duration continues even after the voiceover ends. To fix that, let's reduce the scene duration. In case if you want to add a music track, click on the plus icon at the bottom. Now further open the music section. Here you can find more than 30,000 copyright free music tracks. To preview a track, click on the play icon. Once you click on the use option, it will be added to the timeline. Make sure to reduce the volume of the music track so that it doesn't overpower the voiceover track. Let's preview the video. Hello there, welcome to the channel. You are learning how to make animated videos using your iPhone. It is as simple as that to do advanced animations using this app. To create a new scene, click on the plus icon over here. Now you can repeat the same steps and create a complete video. Step 8. Downloading the video. To download the video, click on the little icon over here. Now you can see the different options to download. You can download it as a video or as a GIF. Once you select the download video option, you will be given the option to select the format and the quality of the video. Once you hit download, it will take a few minutes for the video to render before the download link appears. You can find all your previously rendered videos over here on the My Exports page. From here, you can download the video. The website version of this app has more advanced features like lip sync animation, advanced actions and so on. In case if you wish to create advanced animation videos, you can log into the website with the same account and access the same project. If you enjoyed this video, do leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more useful content like this. To receive updates on our new videos, turn on the notification.